fun them. Yeah? I'll show ya. Just dry my sweaty old quilt off. Can you stay there, dogs, because we've already sloshed out in here with yesterday's stress, haven't we? Throw it back at him. Let's just see if I'm right about what I told him. Yeah, I saw you through that shit. Did you? Okay. So I did say I was going to rain it, rain and wash it off, didn't I? I did definitely say that, you mucky old mare, you. Let's just step out with me body coffee. Stay there, doggies. Oh. Well, ain't that a coincidence, eh? Jeez. Oh, it's definitely raining, isn't it? No. He was right then, wasn't he? I was going to come out and do this, but it's raining, so I'm going to stay in here. Let's just have a look up the road where I threw it. Oh look, the rain's washing it off the road, how about that? No dramas, no stress. See you old fool, <laughs> I was right. Lovely bit of weather isn't it? Ah oh dear, have I not sorted this out yet? It's because I ain't had a chance to have I dogs, eh? God dear. You better not be going to lay a log in here. That smells like a dog fart, lady. You've just had your smelly old tripe, so you lot are all right, aren't you? Yeah, my back's feeling a little bit down. Ah. Right, it's indoor puppy weather today, is it? Ah, I've been cleaning up, moving things about bit by bit. Do 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 do. <laughs> Best order of dartboard though. For the hallway door. Gotta put a bit of uh board over it first though to protect the door a bit <laughs> seems it's got an hole in it anyway oh dear did I eat all my Chinese last night oh well it was a lot but can't give it to the dogs can I so that I go down a Kazi was very nice though. I just can't give it to the dogs because a bit too spicy. Fuck off ski. Fuck off ski. Uh, bit by bit, still clearing up, still doing stuff. It's gone a bit dark and dingy in here. And, well, turns out you'll like this one in Yami BTV land. Turns out the police and the government have been trying to sneakily get me evicted. By blocking my transaction payments. Right, so got a claim coming in here. Right, because uh, that's the police sneakily trying to, uh, using the Investigatory Powers Act, trying to block my uh, rent payments to the landlords. So that's why my bill's been going up. Because they keep messing about with my bank and my transactions. So that's setting me up, 
put him in prison. Trying to reset me up to put me in prison. Using village idiots to do so. Right. Um, then working with the landlords to try and secure a mental health angle right for antisocial behavior which they try to trick me into when I clearly warn them don't try no tricks because I'll be watching for it and I recorded them doing so right which breaks common law on being devious in contracts the police then go and check the law to see if I'm telling the truth on that. Oh shit, he's right. They then get the ump with the copper that fucked it all up. Knowing full well they've now got to pay up for what they've done corruptly. Right, because they've definitely been trying to get me evicted. That means collusion with the landlords, who are also acting corruptly. It's been done through the Investigatory Powers Act, which means that implicates the local MP for acting corruptly. Also, the local council, court, the landlords and the police, court, all acting corruptly. Over to you. At the top of the tree there. While you investigate the whole thing. And get ready to pardon the person that's been abused by the system. And is now suffering from serious health issues. For their intravenous drug test. That they carried out on me in prison. Which has now affected my health further. And my blood circulation system. So I'm expecting quite a nice settlement out of this. Um, and I'm laughing all the way to the bank basically. You know what I'm saying? Checkmate motherfuckers. Don't you think? And I even caught them uh, interfering with my internet today. Uh, while I posted about it online. Just to let me know that they was actually watching my posts. So, uh, caught that as well. Um, yeah. What a funny state of affairs, eh? <coughs> All good, he says. As he takes a mouthful of his chocolate vodka coffee, behaving himself, not giving a fuck. Next thing I'll be ordering will be the uh, ballast and cement to carry on with my garden project that they've been so kindly trying to get me evicted from. But today it's raining as you just saw, so bun them. Upon their heads be it. I did say that clearly, didn't I? Now it's actually coming true, isn't it? How about my apples? So I'm not going to rub their noses in it too much because their boss is about to do that, isn't he? As he said, right, you fucking corrupt idiots. Not under my watch, you don't. Otherwise, you're going to get me in serious shit with my creator. It's being done properly this time. No more fucking about. Give him what he needs. Stop fucking playing with this person. Now do it right, or you're all sacked. And you're all going to end up in prison if you don't. Fucking do what I tell you to do. Says him, who shouts at them, My fucking prisons! Tips my hat to old Charlie boy there, and says, Good for you, bro. You take charge of them. And we all went back to living happily in the UK.